Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm just about to pre-poo and get started with my wash day, but I wanted to hop on here as I have been doing recently to show you my day seven hair. This is following three workouts and the day that I took out my braid out and then I did the little separating because I just really love the end result that I was able to get to. I went directly to my parents' house in their backyard for the next few hours with nothing on my head. So my hair frizzed out pretty much at the end of day one because it was hot, it was sunny, and you know, humidity and natural hair don't mix. Plus I had said that I was gonna stop separating my hair to give it a chance of maintaining definition throughout the week. But as I mentioned, I did separate it at the end of the last video. So this is what I am dealing with, not dealing with. So this is what I am working with today on day seven. My hair still feels good. It feels moisturized, but you know, I mean, it's frizzy and it's big. So, you know, that's just what happens. This will be my third and final week reviewing Cream Botanicals in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. Except for in this video where I'm offering you just one fact because I mentioned this in the past. If I don't have nine facts, I can't give you nine facts. I'm giving you what I was able to come up with and I don't want to just give you fluff for absolutely no reason just to fulfill my three fact requirements. So the only thing I'm going to mention here, and I need more information on this because I'm not really, this is a really nice curl still because I'm not really sure about um, what is going on with that. From what I understand, there either is, was, or will be a Korea Botanicals children's line, and I'm really excited about that. Not because I don't have anything that's working for my children right now. As I've mentioned, I have been using Earthborn Organics and Bow Peep Luxuries in my children's hair, and I love it, but I like to try out new things for them as well. I think I'm gonna do a video on it, just to give you a heads up. I do have a new pre-poo from Shebe USA, the Shebe Kids Pre-Poo Detangling Ghee with Tallow and Ostrich Oil. Yes, it's for kids, but I'm gonna use it in my hair as well. Because if you saw my reel from earlier this week, I'm out of my Camellia conditioning mask and my Shebe oil that I like using as my pre-poo. I could go back to my melanin hair care and I'm sure I will at some point, but I really like trying out new pre-poos and I really love the Shebe USA products. Head over to that video when it's out. I don't think it's gonna be, it's not gonna be out by the time this video goes out. But anyway, that's probably coming down the pipe. I gotta go, I'm gonna pre-poo, go pre-poo and pump. I'm probably not doing boxing today. And I will be back later for my second wash and go. I completely forgot I was doing my wash and go today. Today is gonna be my Korean Botanicals curl pudding only wash and go, so wish me luck. So I only have like a 20 minute stretch of time right now to start my wash and go. So let's kick it off and see what this pudding only wash and go does for me. When I reached out to Korea Botanicals to confirm if I could do a wash and go with just their pudding, they said that I could use a pudding and their oil. I don't have their oil, so I'm just gonna use the Mish Beauty oil that I happen to have right here. I am going to get started. I put a very generous amount of leave-in conditioner in my hair, and I'm going to use a pretty generous amount of the curl pudding. And in the interest of my time, or rather my schedule, I'm gonna get started with this now. I'm gonna come back later when my wash and go is completely done, and then tomorrow I'm gonna come back to walk through my review of each of the products that I have used. This is my second wash and go. I feel like I'm still confused as to how these work, but pretty much I'm gonna try to define the curls, and then I'm gonna try to dry them quickly before they shrink up like a madman, like they did the first time I tried to do one. I'll do 20 minutes worth now and I'll be back later to finish it. I have a mister filled with distilled water. I just finished rinsing my hair and applying product. My hair is pretty soaking wet. I understand it's supposed to be absolutely soaking wet though. So I'm just gonna continue to spray water on it and I'm gonna put on the pudding and let's see how this works. Let's see if I can get my hair to dry a little bit more like this versus the shrinkage that I experienced last time because my hair was so tangled. The next time it was, this feels really good. These products are really, really good. Um, and you can see it's kind of already wash and going my hair, although it's also sudsing. Let's get started. It looks like my wash and go is already like, you know, in progress. Doop. I feel like at some point it's like too generous. Like how much do I really need to put? And I want to concentrate it on my roots. I'm not gonna be using my Denman since it was pulling out my hair last time. I'm just gonna be raking and praying hands and then putting back in the product that I took out with my praying hands. Probably applying a little bit more water. A little bit more product. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is pretty much just how I detangle. Now I'm just gonna see, I'm not gonna shingle, but I am going to identify sections and kind of pull them apart. 
Unless maybe that's what shingling is. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going in there. When I see clumps, I'm just gonna, maybe I'll just smooth them out individually. Well, that one jumped up to my ear. Because these are the parts I feel like if I don't concentrate on them specifically, I'm gonna have a lot of frizz. By the way, when I get to the drying process, I think the issue that I had last week, and it seemed like there was pretty good consensus in the, I'm gonna move on to the next section. Okay, yeah, last time, I don't know what I was saying. Ugh, that's annoying. I don't, I don't remember. Last time, the problem was that I let my hair air dry. My hair can't air dry because it shrinks a lot and quickly and just like a lot. So when my hair shrunk up, so did my roots. My roots got really tangled, my ends got really tangled and it was just a disaster. So this time I have a new secret weapon. Although I think it's a secret, secret weapon. I, I have to see if it works well for me because you only get secret weapon status if it actually works for you. But I got a, uh, I got a Dyson. So I am going to diffuse with my Dyson um, pretty soon after I finish my hair to try to lock my curls in their position and elongation. So I am going to do a separate video on me drying my hair with a diffuser for the first time. But here is what we have so far. So I'm just going to continue doing exactly what you just saw me doing on camera. I'll be back once it's in and then I'll be back once it's dry. Okay, so wash and go is done. One thing I forgot that I said that I was going to do, applying the oil. I just completely forgot. So there's no oil, there's just this pudding. And I think I did a good amount. So I am going to, I unfortunately can't dry my hair right now. I'm probably gonna dry it in like 40 minutes from now. And I'll be back with the final result. Since I left you yesterday, I did record an entire video on how I stretched my wash and go, how I blow dried it and how I stretched it. I don't know. I have to look at my last wash and, oh my goodness. I had to look at my last wash and go and see how shrunken that was to see how it compares to this one. The curl pattern's pretty much the same. I think it's just that I was expecting a different curl pattern because when my hair is wet and I'm combing through with my fingers and I'm just like looking, it's just, it's more elongated. So I think it's, I mean like it's just my curl pattern. I, that I don't mind. It's just more that I have a lot of frizz still and I am for the second time in a row getting these like little white spots in my hair. To be fair, I actually like these white spots, which you can see in my video that I posted just this past Sunday, my deep conditioner review. Watching back that video, I was like, wow, it looks like I have like silver highlights in my hair. And it's because apparently that's just like what happens. I think it's either too much product or whatever it is. I am in the beginning journey of my wash and go. And I actually, I don't dislike it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But there are a lot of emotions between love and hate. So. I'm gonna keep trying this out every week three. Wash and go took me like 25 minutes. Took me like an hour and a half to dry it and I didn't even finish drying it and then I had to stretch it. So all in all, not that much quicker. I cannot let it dry naturally. I think I know that. Um, in terms of how I think this is gonna wear, it has some movement now, which is nice. I feel like my last wash and go did not have movement, but that's when I let it shrink up on its own. We'll see what happens here. I have to go to Aiden's tennis lesson. It's gonna be outside, it's humid. I don't necessarily think I can tuck all of this neatly into my turban and then have it come out and just like live its life the way it's living right now. So it's possible that coming this evening, this is gonna be going up. I also don't like my hair sitting on my shoulders. I feel like it's, I mean, I guess it normally does that, but for some reason this time around, I don't necessarily want it sitting on my shoulders. I'm afraid of having an experience like I did last time because as much as my hair might be a little bit stretched right now, as it goes through the week, it's gonna shrink, it's gonna shrink, it's gonna shrink, and it's gonna shrink. And then come my next wash day, my hair is gonna be tangled. I'm not dealing with that again. Tangled hair is a no for me. I'm getting used to it. It looks nice. I think it'll be really fun when it's a lot longer. Let's move on to the review and close out. Oh, and also my hair feels moisturized. That's great. I have said multiple times in the past that my hair likes to be styled in tight sets. So like my braid outs are more moisturized than my twist outs. My twist outs are more moisturized than pretty much any other set that I do. But I am happy to say that my hair is actually really well moisturized right now. I was not expecting that. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's jump into the review. 
I have the shampoo bar up first, the low porosity clarifying shampoo bar. I think this might be my favorite shampoo bar that I have tried up until this point. It does have that clarifying feeling. So you feel the squeaky rubber when you're working it into your hair. You cannot do any finger detangling or any otherwise detangling because it is going to rip out your hair, or at least that's what it feels like. But at the same time, while it's really rubbery, it actually is very softening for my strands. So that was interesting. And then once you rinse it out, the rubbery, clarifying, uncomfortable feeling, it just completely goes away. I'm remembering back when I was like a teenager and I would use like a really clarifying shampoo. Even post rinse, my hair would still feel like rubber and squeaky. I don't know what products I was using like 15 years ago, but that's just, that was my old experience with clarifying shampoos. I think this is really great. I, I actually really, really like this product. I did reach out to Cryo Botanicals to confirm before I did this. And also, I mean, I looked at their ingredients on my own and I felt comfortable with them. But you can use these on children's hair. So Aiden and Layla have been going swimming recently. Something that I hadn't really thought about because I have no intention of going swimming. So I hadn't really looked into how to take care of it. But they need to clarify their hair when they come out. I didn't know how I was going to get the chlorine out. So I started using the shampoo bar and same experience with with them. A little bit squeaky while it's in their hair, but once you rinse out, it's perfectly fine. So I would say this is like a clarifying to moisturizing because my hair actually feels good when you rinse it out. It's, it's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting feeling. I like this. Next up is the deep conditioner. I was able to finish it. It was a little bit of a challenge. I did have to like just take out extra and put it in my hair because I didn't want to have like a thimble size left of deep conditioner left because this would be sitting on my shelf for like another two years. Uh, I did finish this. This is not the most slick, but I will say, and I, I have had this experience with all of the products, they feel very nourishing on application. So it did allow me to do more finger detangling than just the water alone did. Also for the last two weeks, I have been only using a steam cap for 20 minutes to deep condition my hair. And my hair felt like, you know, spreadable butter after those 20 minutes. And when rinsing it out, it felt really good. It's not impressive with the slip, when you apply it, but it feels good going on and it does a really good job after you let it sit with steam or other form of heat for however long you want to, at least 20 minutes would be my recommendation. So I actually really like this. I'm sad to be out of it, but not that savvy. It's not like I'm gonna be able to use it again anytime soon. Next up is the low porosity leave-in conditioner. I think this is a really good follow-up to the deep conditioner and this has more slip. So it feels really good going on. Again, it feels very nourishing. It has a good amount of slip. And when I went back to style my hair after I've been sitting for a little bit of time underneath my towel, my hair felt really, really good. That being said though, about both of these products, as people know, these are no longer actually in stock. They now have a combined product, an all-in-one. So they have a deep conditioner leave-in. They are going to send that to me when it's back in stock, but I mean, I don't have it right now, so I haven't reviewed it. But I expect based on the ingredients and I reviewed their ingredients for the all-in-one versus these, it's pretty much very, it's very similar. Last up is a low porosity curl pudding. I feel like all of these products do a really good job of building upon each other. So the deep conditioner, it feels really good. It feels very nourishing going on. It doesn't have a massive amount of slip. After it sits, it allows you to detangle a little bit more because it softens your hair so much. But slip is not like the first feeling that you get when you put it in your hair. And then the leave-in conditioner, provides another level of slip, which feels really good. But then you get to the curl pudding and the curl pudding for me is the slipperiest product. It did a good job of maintaining definition in weeks one and two. We'll see what happens in week three. But I actually, and I really like this product. I didn't apply an oil on top like I sometimes do because I do like to seal with an oil. But despite the humidity and just like the summer heat and all of that, I think my, did, my, I think my hair did a pretty good job of maintaining what definition it could because you also have to protect your hair. You gotta spray it with SPF or an antioxidant spray or just keep it concealed while you're out in the sun and all that. But I don't always do that. I mean, I'm human and there's only so much I'm gonna do to accommodate my hair. But I think this did a really good job of holding up. I would definitely recommend it. And also, I mean, it seems I only use this product for my washing because I forgot to put an oil on top, although I don't think an oil would have helped. It probably would have harmed if anything. And look, I mean, you can't, maybe you can't see through the silver, but there's still a good, there's like a, a level of shine here and my hair feels really good. It feels really moisturized. We'll see what happens. I will let you know at the beginning of my next review, how the moisture held up throughout the week. All in all, I actually really like these products. I know I use them 
a month after I big chopped and then I used them about four months after I big chopped and I liked them back then, still haven't watched that review. But based on the ingredients, based on the way that these products worked in my hair, based on the way my hair has felt over the last three weeks, I would definitely recommend. I do have an affiliate link in the description box below if you wanna to go to their website and check out their products. And again, I'll be back to review the all-in-one once I receive it. So that is something for at least me to look forward to. You can look forward to it too. That brings me to the end of this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.